Every time Mrs. Patricia Hollingsworth goes out, she takes her handbag along. Not that there's anything extraordinary about the handbag. It's full of the usual junk that women's handbags are usually full of. But it has a couple of surprises too. Because Mrs. Hollingsworth would never dream of going anywhere without her hammer and chisel. She just never knows when she's going to need them. Mrs. Hollingsworth, you see, is a compulsive chiseler. Her neighbours call her Mrs. Chipper. For the past 33 years, she's hammered and chiselled away around Britain and Europe, collecting fragments of monuments, ancient and modern. A sliver of York Minster, a tiny piece of the bridge at Avignon, a chunk from the flower vase from Old Marseille. But how on earth did it all begin? Well, it started in uh, 1937 when I had a holiday down in Eastbourne. I was on the sea and I saw a sparkling piece of granite, or flint apparently, and uh, just thought I'd like it because it shone in my face. So I went up to Beachy Head and I dug it out. But uh, it was five and five feet, four or eight inches down the cliff, and I'm only five feet. So you can imagine what happened. I had to have somebody hanging onto my ankles to get it, but I got it. And, and, and you just wanted it because it was glinting. I just there. wanted it, yeah. I've got a piece here of um, Dartmoor. Now, this piece of Dartmoor nearly cost me going inside. I got over the outer wall, and I dashed across the field to the wall, and I'm sitting down there, chipping away this little tiny piece here. And someone at the back of me said, and what do you think you're doing? So I said, well, just chipping a piece out of the wall. So he said, uh, well, there's a lot of chipping you can do inside, if you like. And I said, no, thank you. I just want this little tiny piece. And I chipped it out quickly and I dashed off before he caught me. Now, you, you were in France on, on holiday three years ago. What, what yeah. bits of historic France did you come sneaking back with? Well, I have a piece of uh, Notre Dame. Uh, that's that piece there. I've also got a piece of the Eiffel Tower. But that, of course, as you know, the Eiffel Tower is made of iron, and this is a piece from the bottom. I'd also like a piece out of Buckingham Palace, but I'm not likely to get that, am I? I'm sorry, I couldn't go in. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a collector of uh, little pieces of stone and granite, you know, yeah. from ancient monuments and I wondered if I could have a bit of Buckingham Palace. It's a very nice thought, but I'm sorry you can't go in. Not... No, I'm afraid not. Can't I get anything? No, I'm sorry, no. Not even a little bit off the floor? Um, out here, certainly, yes, help yourself. A little bit off the bottom of the wall round there? Um... Or a little bit of this here? Well, how are you going to get it off? Well, I can just scratch it off. You know, it off? Yes, or oh, I could chip it off, but I, right? I don't think I'd don't be think allowed to chip had. it off, no, will I? I no, I don't think you'd better have it at all. But I uh, can scratch it off, can no, I? No, no, um, you'll be getting yourself into trouble if you go around doing things like that. Just down the bottom there, the little bit of loose that's no, at the bottom. No, you better not do that. You see, um, uh, it's pretty ragged as it is, and you, you know... Well, that's what I mean. It is ragged, isn't it? It's the only little ragged bit that I want. <laughs> uh, no, you better not make it any worse. Let me give you the other <laughs> thing. You know, you really will get arrested one of these days, Mrs. Hollingsworth. Do you think it's right that you should go around hacking bits out of our old buildings? Well, I'm not doing any harm. I don't consider I am anyway. I mean, the buildings are falling down in any case, the ones that I chop pieces out of. And then again, I don't take big pieces, just tiny bits. But what do you suppose would happen if everyone went around doing exactly the same thing? Well, they wouldn't because they're not as mad as I am. Well, how would you feel if people came around chipping bits out of your front wall? Well, I wouldn't mind if they got as much pleasure out of it as I get out of chipping somebody else's wall. How do you feel about people who go around carving their initials into old buildings? Oh, no. No, I don't agree with that. Well, you're doing exactly the same no, sort I'm not. of thing. No, I'm not. I'm taking a tiny piece out of the bottom of the wall where nobody notices it. That's the difference. I don't leave my mark on it forevermore. 
Hitler can come along and bomb the place to pieces, can't he? Well, why can't I have a little tiny bit of stone?